Welcome back. In this video, we'll talk about the colorectal cancers. Compared to other cancers, colon cancer is very common. Unfortunately, the diagnosis is often delayed. Most of the patients have two or more of the following symptoms. Constipation or diarrhea, change in the stool color, blood in the stool, or sometimes bleeding per rectum, abdominal cramps or abdominal pain. And if it was very advanced, the patient could have excessive fatigue or weakness, weight loss and appetite change, feeling of incomplete emptying, and if it was very, very advanced, the patient could have jaundice with yellow skin and yellow eyes, difficulty breathing, chronic severe headaches, blurry visions, and bone fractures. The classification of colon cancer is known as staging. We have from stage 0 to stage 4. In stage 0, we see some abnormal cells in the colon that are confined to the lining of the colon. This is also known as carcinoma in situ. In stage 1, these abnormal cells become cancerous and they penetrate the lining area, so they penetrate the mucosa and they extend into the muscular layer of the colon. In stage 2, these cancerous cells can invade the surrounding tissue by penetrating the wall of the colon. In stage 3, we see these cancerous cells penetrating and reaching the lymph nodes of the colon. And finally, in stage 4, we see metastases elsewhere outside the colon. Most of these colon cancers would have started as a polyp, and these polyps can be discovered very early if a patient did colonoscopy. Colonoscopy is recommended to be done by the age of 45 or more. And of course, the sooner the better. The earliest studies are done by the American College of Gastroenterology, and they recommend that you do colonoscopy by the age of 40. Alright guys, that's all I have. Thank you so much for watching, and hopefully this helped.